March 15th is a day that will live on in infamy due to the loss of 51 Muslim lives in their holy place on their holy day. It is an event that sent mass shockwaves through the fabric of New Zealand society and has affected deep psychological change. The man, he is on the main entrance with his machine gun and start, you know, to shoot the people. And we have no idea because nobody at all thinking this is, we thinking this is a tire for a car or something like that happened. Some, but nobody and imagine this is uh, a sound of bullet or someone shooting anyone. Even though such a mass terror event has been unprecedented in New Zealand history, it serves as a culmination of centuries worth of racist views and actions. New Zealand as a nation was founded off of racially motivated violence and oppression. Our indigenous Māori have been oppressed since our formation and we've had a perennially fraught relationship with diversity. In New Zealand, uh, we do have a historical uh, systemic racism. Uh, we did have apartheid, and so mainly because of power and money, believing that a Western system is better than a native system. If some people thinking what happened in 15th of March, it's only affect the, the Muslim community, absolutely wrong. It's affect all New Zealand. And if we can't face what happened with the Muslim community strongly, tomorrow it will become with the Buddhist community, after tomorrow with Hindu community, after that with the other group, and so on. So we need to put a strategy, a structure, how can to build a community, a strong and healthy community. People come together side by side with full respect, with full understanding, with full uh, peace between all of them. The, the, the tragedy of, of March 15 has been a wake-up call to uh, a large number of people who have yeah, felt that, that they could uh, um, express views towards people. Um, and and that, that has been around for, I think, a, a, a long time. The main problem here, the ideas, which it is in the mind of the people, you know. This idea, it's not easy to remove. To, it needs time, it needs, you know, to establish uh, dialogue, conversation, uh, to show the people, the other, because this is, this is part of our, 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 our face. We never ever uh, attract the people to be uh, a Muslim. No, it's up to you. Everyone has, has right to decide what, what he need, but in the same time, you have to respect the other choices. But in the end of the day, we have to have full respect between us. And we deal together as a human being. However, far more ubiquitous than the open and expletive racism is the perpetuation of stereotypes and tropes that encompass casual racism. I didn't realize how how awful it was for some of my friends who, who were brought up but uh, had a different colour skin than I did. Um, it wasn't so much a faith-based one back in those days uh, when I was growing up, but there are people who, um, who I just didn't notice uh, were experiencing uh, racist behaviour and uh, prejudicial treatment just simply because of the colour of their skin. And I still remember when we came the first time to New Zealand here, even before anything happened, and when I just walk with my wife in the mall, some old ladies stop us and they start to ask us, where from you are, and why would this white on your, your uh, hair? But now, no excuse for anyone, because Islam, it is very, very known everywhere in the world. But how do we tackle systemic racism? through education and social awareness. The only controlled areas in society are um, in our education system, uh, in the workplace, uh, tertiary education and rest homes. Two things very important. Number one, schools. Schools, they have to start from the, uh, in the primary school. 
to establish friendship between all children together and let them grow up in the same environment. So this is will dissolve any differences. Second, establish at least class for the relation. Um, I think the most effective way is actually calling them, calling them out. Um, they do come under a lot of pressure from social media, from the community. All mankind, I created you from single bear of male and the female, and made you nations and the tribes. For what reason? To know each other, to recognize each other, to support each other, to deal together. This is very important to understand that. So, you know, we, we, we've really got to make sure that we play an important role um, in ensuring that we do everything we can to become the best city that we can. But we have got an incredible foundation to build on, and that is the compassionate response of a people who put kindness, love, uh, and, um, and peace ahead of the conflict that that was designed um, to incite. The heinous events of March 15th have left indelible marks on the New Zealand consciousness and have started the movement for institutional change towards the way that we as New Zealanders view race. However, with that being said, there is still a long way to go and on our road for racial betterment.